Hey everybody, this is David from techstacker.com. So in this quick tutorial, you're gonna learn how to detect clicks outside of elements with JavaScript. And what I mean is that if you click anywhere inside this generic box, right, I'm gonna have an example right here. If you click anywhere inside this, you want nothing to happen. But if you click outside of it, you want to hide it, right? And you can probably imagine how this is useful, right? If you have a pop-up model or an off canvas menu that slides in and out, you want to give the user the ability to shut down that element by just clicking anywhere outside of it so they don't have to click on an X or a close button, right? This is much, much faster and this is much better user experience design. So the way to do this, right, right now, we're inside CodePen and I'm gonna leave a link in the description box for this uh, HTML and this CSS because I want to focus completely on the JavaScript code in this tutorial. So we have this box element, right? And we have defined this with a div element and then we give it a class attribute and an attribute name called box, right? And that's this guy. And in the CSS, we have some styling for the box element. And then we have this helper class is hidden, which is what we use to hide the element when they were the user clicks outside of it. Okay, so I'm going to move this up to get some more space. And now the first thing we need to do is to find this element with the class attribute called box. And then we want to assign it to a variable so we can do something with it so we can manipulate it down here, right? So first, we're going to set up a variable called box. And then we are going to use query selector to find any element on the document, right? That means the entire HTML document, any element that has the class attribute box. And as soon as we have that, we assign it to this box variable. And now we can do something with it. So the first thing we're going to do now is to detect any click on the HTML document. So whether you click here or here, anywhere on the document, we want to detect that, okay? And then we want to do something. We want to set up a click event and run a function based on clicks. So we're going to set up the function. So what we have here is we are saying, hey, document, HTML document, this thing. We are going to attach an event listener. We're going to add an event listener. And this event listener is going to listen for a specific type of event called click, right? It could also have been scroll down, scroll up. It could have been mouse down, mouse up, whatever. It could be many different types of events. But we specifically want a mouse click right to be detected. And as soon as we have detected the mouse click, we want to run a function, right? And inside the curly braces here inside the function block, we want to run some code. And we specifically want to run some conditions. Okay, so we want to say, hey, hey, uh, if the user clicks inside of this element, do nothing. However, if they click outside of this element, we want to hide it. Okay, so first, we're going to set up an if statement, like so. And what we're saying here is that, hey, if the target that we click on, if the closest thing to the target, in this case, I'm clicking on this element, right, on this box element, if it has this box class, then we want to stop the code from running any further. So we want to stop this function from running the next line of code, if it is true, right, because if is actually a Boolean. So we are looking for something that's either true or false. So hey, if it's true, that the closest thing to what we click on, that's the target, right, has this box class, we want to return, which is what says, hey, stop from running, stop, stop the function from running more code. Okay. However, if the user clicks outside of the element, then we want to hide it. And we do that by using the class list property, which is built into JavaScript. And then we attach that to the box variable, right? And then we use the add method of the class list, list property. This is part of the class list property. And then we add this CSS class. JS is hidden with the declaration display none. And that's how we make the thing uh, hide. Now, if I click inside this, nothing happens. But if I click outside of it, it hides. And that means that our code works. So I hope you can imagine how this can be useful in many different situations, right? For any type of UI component that you want to be able to shut down without having to click an X or a close button. This is much, much better user experience design. And I wish that more websites uh, had this feature uh, by default. So that's it for this video. If it has been helpful, let me know down in the comment section. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. And I'll see you guys in the next video.